Hi, I'm SBR Sports Picks. I'm Peter Lushak. He's Mike Brenner. We are the Odds Couple. It's week 11 in college football. We're talking with Ross Benjamin from rbwins.com. And, of course, we come from sportsbookreview.com, sbrodds.com. Right now we're going to take a look at an interesting matchup, another ma- midweek MAC game, Toledo and Northern Illinois, which uh, which goes on Wednesday. It's uh, technically being played at a neutral site, although it is being played uh, in Illinois uh, in the state. So uh, maybe you have a you give a Northern Illinois an in-state, a home state a advantage bit. there. Line right now is a six and a half. And I'll tell you what, Mike Brenner, Last week, uh, you know, I knew Northern Illinois was a rapidly improving team, but I also thought Bowling Green was improving a little bit, and I thought maybe giving them 17 points a little bit too much, but they, uh, but uh, Northern Illinois won by 25. Yeah. Another second straight uh, blowout yeah. win for Northern Illinois, second straight co- uh, strong cover where they scored over 40, but now they're playing Toledo, and Toledo, of course, is no slouch. They blew out. Blew out Akron yeah. last week, and Just you know, anytime, it. yeah. So you know, Akron is is nothing special, but still going on the road and getting a massive thirty point win as a ten point road favorite is very impressive. We got two sure. very impressive and improving MAC teams here. I don't know. This feels like a ten foot pole to me. Probably Ross Benjamin will be able to shed some unique light on it, though. Mike yeah. Brenner, you have anything? Yeah, he's going to need to because I got a ten foot pole on yeah. this one as well. Now, had this been the Northern Hill, and I know they're picking up steam, but three four years ago, home field was everything to that team, mm-hmm. and I don't see that now. But I'm telling you, I haven't dug deep into this. But I'm anxious to hear what Ross has to say in his breakdown because uh, I may jump on board because that Ross Benjamin car goes to the bank on a daily basis. Ross Benjamin, two very impressive teams. I got burn fading Northern Illinois last week. What's your plan on this one? Yeah, I'm not on board with Northern Illinois being impressive. They're three Hmm. and six on the season. Their last two wins over Bowling Green and Buffalo. Uh, Not exactly top flight uh, competition from the MAC. Bowling Green, as we know, was a powerhouse up until this year in the MAC. Yeah, yep. you could say they were a little bit improved, but you know what? Those are games they should win. Mm-hmm. Um, Toledo, seven and two guys. Their only two losses against on the road against a very good BYU team mm-hmm. by a couple of points, and then they were upset a couple weeks back against t- a team that's really on a roll in Ohio. Two losses by a combined seven points explosive offense for Toledo, and here's a telling factor. Northern Illinois has defeated uh, Toledo six straight times. Big time revenge, fellas, mm. okay? this If they're going to get Northern Illinois and they're going to get them big, this is the year they got to do it. I'm banking on the fact that's going to happen. I just like the better team overall. I'm going to take Toledo here, late at six and a half over Northern Illinois. All right, wow. minus six and a half. I mean, this one again. I'm not disagreeing with him, but it's a. It feels like a ten foot pole to me because he just, uh, you know, he said that uh, Northern Illinois' win over Bowling Green wasn't that impressive, but uh, Toledo was a, was a thirty point home favorite over Bowling Green and wound up only beating him by seven. So They might uh, overlook you know. that team, though. That could yeah, have been the yeah, classic could have overlook. Been. But. Yeah, and so I guess it's just a matter of the power ratings. I was Look, I was agreeing with Ross Benjamin. I thought Northern Illinois was a little bit of an illusion last week, but I got burned on it, so that's why I'm yeah, all, all flustered yeah, here about yeah, this game. a little bit <laughs> flustered, but no, I'm still going to stay off of it, mm-hmm. but I, I like the breakdown. And yeah. again, Northern Illinois, although it's not their home home field advantage, yeah. they're playing in their home state, you would think it would do mm-hmm. something, but, you know, Toledo, they do. They have an air attack. I don't know. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to see yeah, what happens, but uh, Got a good running game, too. Balanced attack, Mike. So, okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, I can understand where you guys are coming from, especially in light of the fact Northern Illinois has lost six games this year, and I had this written down. The six teams they lost to have a combined 43-13 and 13 record. So it's not like they've lost the cream puffs. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah, that, this is why we're seeing the line where it's at, because if you look at this on the surface, you got a, North, a Toledo team 7-2 and two against Northern Illinois 3-6, and six. And Toledo's only less than a touchdown favorite. Well, that's why. Yeah. yeah. All right. And again, a couple of points that Ross brought up. Mm-hmm. You know, I think the fact that they took BYU to the wire, which they did, all right, that just tells me that that game against Bowling Green, I think it was a classic sure, overlook. Sure, 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 overlook. Sure. But Ross mentioned one other thing mm-hmm. revenge. Six times. You don't think this team has this game circled? They can't wait. I'm liable to jump in that car by the end of the week. All right. Ross Benjamin uh, recommending a play on Toledo, minus six and a half. Great breakdown on a tough game here. Ross Benjamin, that's what Ross. Benjamin does. His website is rbwins.com. Ross Benjamin, tell us about that quickly. rbwins.com, 10 and 3 with my college football picks over the Very last nice. three weeks. That's rbwins.com. Also, go to sbrpicks.com. They've been forcing me to enter selections the last six weeks. You imagine that, guys? They're putting <laughs> pressure on me at SBR. And guess what? 33 and 17 in the last Holy six crap. weeks in college football, 66%. That's documented. Holy That's crap. with all my articles with picks attached, sbrpicks.com. rbwins.com is a real money maker. That's oh. where you pay a little 
just to make a lot. I love Holy it. You, are, you know what? Shit. You need to just move down here and jump on our show. We'll be the three for the odds couple. I love it. Ross Benjamin on fire. Thanks so much, Ross. We'll talk to you again next week. Thanks for having me, guys. Do your research before you bet. Check out our ratings guide to see which books have the best ratings and sign-up bonuses. Open up several accounts and shop for lines at sbrodds.com. Always be ahead of the game.